Asha K. Planning a trip can be really expensive, so I'm gonna give you my top five destinations to visit when you're in Sydney for free. I can personally vouch for these places. I've lived in Sydney and they're great places to visit. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the largest steel arch bridges in the world, nicknamed the Coat Hanger because of its arch design. From the Sydney Harbour Bridge, you can see some dramatic views such as the iconic Opera House, Darling Harbour and the rest of the city. It actually bridges the gap between Sydney's central business district and the swanky North Shore. You can actually see a spectacular 360 degree view from the top of the Pylon Lookout, which is located on the southeast end of the bridge. A fun fact about Sydney Harbour Bridge, it takes six months to paint the whole thing from start to finish. Once they've got to the end of the bridge, they go back to the beginning, start painting all over again. Darling Harbour is one of the most popular tourist places in Sydney. It's right across from King Street Wharf and it's just one bay away from Circular Quay where the Sydney Opera House is located. What makes it so popular? Well, perhaps you want to go shopping or visit the vast array of restaurants or just take in the sights of Sydney. It's all here in Darling Harbour. You can visit the Free Maritime Museum or hop across the Piermont Bridge and visit the aquarium or the new Sydney Wildlife World. If you want a picture with a koala, this is the place to go. It only costs about $20 and it makes a great souvenir. Bondi Beach is one of the most popular recreational tourist destinations in Australia. Surfers and beach bums from all over the world hit Bondi each year to ride some of the legendary waves. Some fun things to do in Bondi are to check out the markets, grab a bargain, visit any of the popular cafes or ice cream parlors, but if that's not your thing, you may want to visit the swanky Bondi Icebergs restaurant located to the south of the beach. Who knows, you may even spot a celebrity or two. In case you're wondering, the word Bondi is an Aboriginal word meaning water breaking over rocks. The Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney are a great romantic attraction and is also very popular for wedding ceremonies and wedding photos. If you're visiting the gardens, you'll see a great view of Sydney Opera House, Circular Quay and Macquarie Street. If you're an animal lover, the Royal Botanic Gardens are home to a colony of over 22,000 grey-headed flying foxes and some species of fruit bat, but don't worry, they don't bite. The Australian National Maritime Museum is located in Darling Harbour, right beneath a roof that resembles the Opera House. The museum takes you through Australia's historic relationship with the sea, and exhibitions range from Aboriginal canoes to surf culture and the Navy. Now, if you're visiting with the family, which I highly recommend, free tours happen daily from 10 to 2.30. And on Sundays, it's all about the kids, with activities starting at 11, finishing at 3. Once again, here are my top five free attractions to visit in Sydney. Sydney Harbour Bridge, Darling Harbour, Bondi Beach, the Royal Botanic Gardens, and the National Maritime Museum. I'm Asha Kay and thanks for watching. If you want to know more about Mahalo Travel, click on any of the links around me and subscribe to our Mahalo Travel channel and mahalo.com. If you have any recommendations, please send us an email, requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.